The brutal beating of a child is caught on camera, and tonight we're learning about a lawsuit not on behalf of the victim, but rather one of the attackers. Thanks for joining us here for the News at 6. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Devin Skilling. In a story we've been following for months now, violence among patients of Michigan's only state-run psychiatric hospital for children. Investigative reporter Karen Drew first broke this story and she joins us with the new details. Karen. Well, this is the video that we're talking about that attack. A 10 year old boy brutally beaten at the Hawthorne Center. Now this happened in October caught on video and now the family of the teenage girl who beat him is the one suing the state. It's the second lawsuit over the same violent attack. The video is hard to watch. A 10 year old boy chased down and then stomped on and kicked in the head by a 15 year old girl. This happened while both children were residential patients under the care of the State Department of Health and Human Services at the Walter Ruther State Psychiatric Hospital. The state's juvenile psych patients were moved to Walter Ruther Hospital in Westland while a new state facility for children is being built. Inside, older and younger kids are separated by locked security doors. But on October 18th, you can see employees opened a door which allowed the older girl into the younger children's area where she attacked a boy by the name of Princeton. For several seconds, she stomps and stomps and beats Princeton. She knocks his tooth up into his gum. Princeton has some brain damage behind this based on a brain imaging study. On behalf of Princeton's family, attorney Arnold Reed filed a lawsuit against the state in February. And last week, another lawsuit was filed, this time on behalf of the girl's family. The legal complaint says Hawthorne employees knew about the teen girl's history of aggression, yet they instigated, encouraged, and allowed her to engage in a physical altercation with the younger boy. And the complaint says the October incident is not the first time the girl was used as security for staff, abusing their position of power and exploiting the girl's emotional instability and mental health condition. Over the phone, the girl's mom told Local 4 that state employees manipulated her daughter into the role of enforcer with the other children. The girl's mother described the hospital as a miniature fight club where her daughter was used as a pawn. And after two years there, the mom said her daughter came out of the Hawthorne Center even more traumatized than she was when she was admitted to the hospital. Now, in an email this morning, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, which runs the hospital, said it just received the litigation and is still reviewing it. The state added that as a result of an investigation into the incident, one employee was dismissed, one resigned, and another was suspended and has returned to work. The lawsuit is seeking an undisclosed sum of multiple millions of dollars. We posted that new legal complaint on clickondetroit.com so people can check it out. So how are those children doing now? Do we know? <sighs> Your heart breaks for this. Sure. Is, I mean, they're the ones, they're the victims so many times. The mother of the girl says that her daughter is in another facility right now. Obviously, she's dealing with the trauma, her initial trauma. Of course. And then of this attack. And she feels terrible for the Not fact bad. that she did take part in that beating. She's apologizing to the family. But, you know, you've got to deal with all that. And I just talked to a lawmaker who was running into him in an event the other day. And he goes, now remember, we still have that audit on the facility because there's some issues on the kids being yeah. fed properly. Right, so right. there's a lot fun. going on there and we are not going to let it go. Life is already so hard for these parents yeah. to begin with, right? No. It's hard to make that decision to put your child of in course, that facility and then this happens. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Karen.